Rolling. Rolling. Sitting. Sitting. Loving. Oh. Hello, Hello, everybody. Welcome Hello. back yeah. to another quiz. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I hope your day has been fantabulous. Fan. Fabulous. Today we're talking about good habits. Ooh, so we're gonna redeem ourselves from our bad habits. Yes. So as usual, three means you do it often and zero means you don't do it at all. And we'll have the quiz below so you can follow the link and take it yourself. See how much of a better person you are than <laughs> Yeah, <us. laughs> and tell us all about it. Let's get started. Woohoo! First one is exercising. Exercising. Honestly, <laughs> should do it more. Yeah. But we just don't have time. I used to take like two hour long walks pretty frequently, but just college, man. <laughs> I know. I think we just need some other motivation to get us outside. Like getting a dog. <laughs> eating healthy. I like eating healthy, but I eat a lot of ice cream and sugary stuff, so... I definitely eat way more healthier right now than I did like three years ago. Managing money wisely. Can I do a half score? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think I'd do it well. I think we're pretty content, honestly. All the stuff good. we do need and want is way too expensive for us right now. Waking up early. Like 10 a.m.? Case in point. <laughs> I used to be really good about this. I'd get up at 6 a.m. every morning. I think if I'm inspired in the day, I'll get up early. But lately, I have not been feeling inspired. <laughs> Moving on. Getting regular sleep, so like eight hours a night. I think we're pretty good. We prioritize getting enough sleep. Yeah, for college students, we're pretty good. <laughs> it just gets tough when you can't fall asleep and then it's 1 a.m. and then you got a morning class. Yeah. All right, so now meditating or if you're not into meditation, just giving yourself some time to relax. <laughs> Try to do it. Yeah, I don't meditate, but I kind of feel like watching YouTube You can just kind of zone out and unwind. I think we try to take breaks often so that we're not stressing ourselves out too much Expressing gratitude or just generally feeling grateful I'd Say I do it. We do it towards each other very often. Yes, and I cannot go to a restaurant without thanking my server 30 times because <laughs> I just feel weird like people doing things for me. Yeah, I, I try not to let someone's good act go by yeah. unnoticed. Yeah, no one wants to feel unappreciated. Yeah. So <laughs> just thank people. Thank you good people in this world. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Intentionally learning new things. I have a thirst for knowledge. Yes, you do. <laughs> I can't say that I have it to the degree that you do, but for researching stuff that will be involved in my stories, I do a lot. Yeah, when you're inspired, you do a lot of research. Yes. And I seem just to get hooked on various things a lot. Lots of technology, especially. Lots of tech, and then lots of potential pets. <laughs> Leopard geckos, <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> I hope. Resisting the urge to give up. Take it as you may. <laughs> I think this is fair. I hate giving up. I want to do my best in school, and that's mainly what's taking up my time right now, so I rarely give up. Yeah, especially if like I have a project and I reach a roadblock, I will usually spend all day trying to get over that roadblock. Yes, and all night. Sometimes I just gotta let it rest for a day, come mm -hmm. back to it, and then maybe I make some progress. Mm -hmm. Tea break. Okay, this one has a lot of little parts to it, but it's encompassed in one theme, which is respecting the environment. So that can be saving energy and water, picking up trash, composting, recycling, walking and bicycling instead of taking a car, all that good stuff. And so is this what we actually do or what we wish we could do more, but are not able to given our current situation? Let's say it's what we're doing and what we will incorporate when we have the chance. Just because we can't afford a Tesla doesn't mean we have to put a zero on this. 
I think we both try to be environmentally conscious. Yeah. I'm annoyed that our current garbage situation does not allow any plastic bags to be recycled whatsoever. Turn off water when I can, turn off lights I don't need on. It's important, you know? This yeah. is the only planet we got right now. Let's try our best to keep it alive. <laughs> Team trees! I know we're too late. <laughs> Still, plant trees! <laughs> Working hard and striving for excellence, but not perfection, because that's not possible. Just offended like half the people out there. I think we're only human. <laughs> yeah, I think we both try to be as good as we can on projects that we're passionate about. We try our best, yep. especially in school. We do not like half-assing anything. No. <laughs> no, we do not. Living the golden rule, so treating others as you'd like to be treated. I feel like the complication with this is you can be living by the golden rule, but it doesn't mean that everyone's gonna be happy. I think what's important is we both do not like making enemies with people. Yeah, we try and be nice. Keeping yourself clean, including your clothes, your body, your hair, your teeth, all that stuff. Oh, I used to be a three, but things have just been so hectic. <laughs> I used to be a one, I'd say. And now we've kind of Again, balanced each other out. We equal each other out for sure. Especially having dyed hair makes showering not very fun anymore. Yes, because cold showers. Mm. Now, keeping tidy and cleaning up after yourself. I try to, Yeah. but sometimes I just leave stuff out with the intention of, I'll get back to it. Telling the truth. Could this be sugarcoating the truth? Sure, if you're trying to be nice. Yeah. I try, but sometimes it's tough to upset some people. <laughs> like what, what are you thinking of? Well, like feedback on a project. Well, yeah. Asking for what you want, being clear about your needs and your desires. I'd say I am much better now than I used to be, because I used to just kind of be like, this is the way it is right now. I'll just work around that. Yeah, I think it makes for better relationships if, if both people are honest. Reading regularly. <laughs> Does that count? reading like online articles or something. I mean, I think reading online is a form of reading if it's not just like memes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts as reading, I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, unless I'm on a research craze, but not very often. When I want to learn about something, I will read as many articles about it as I can find. Yes. Like, I've never been like, let me just read Moby Dick because I want to. <laughs> I'm a really slow reader, which kind of sucks. And I think I'd read more if I were as fast as you. <laughs> I think I read at half your speed. <laughs> I was sharing a book and he's like ready to turn the oh, page. Sorry. I'm like, I'm still here. <laughs> Being punctual. This is where I want to do like a halfway. Aha. Uh -huh. What will she choose? Well, this is often, not always. So I'm, I'm usually punctual. But are you always trying to be punctual? Though? Yes, I'm always trying to be. And sometimes things just happen. <laughs> yeah. The first day I started working for somebody, I arrived like 30 minutes early. Like even going to someone's party, like I want to be there on the dot. I don't want to be like late. Someone tells me a time and I'll shoot for that time. <laughs> Respecting others' opinions. No matter how bad they are. Yeah, it's kind of a balance. Like, at what point do you feel like, no, I really can't respect your opinion because you're just being a jerk? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd say I try to respect people's opinions 90% of the time, but there are just some people that have opinions that I just, no matter how hard I try, I just cannot see it from their perspective. Yeah, if someone's being very generalizing or being unfair, jerk, yeah. I can't really respect people that are just... Not respecting <laughs> anybody else. It's very <laughs> selfish, yeah. We're not the people who are like, oh, you like eggplant? Ew. I'd say I'd have to change my answer to be a three, though. All right, and our last one is keeping an open mind. Keeping an open mind. I think we both try to do it. Yeah, we do. There are some things that are harder to keep an open mind on, but... I'd say you're much better about keeping an open mind because you used to only think about the worst case scenarios. <laughs> it's good. I don't want to come across as closed-minded because that would 
Tear me apart. <laughs> Let's calculate. Ah, uh, math time. So the max total is 60 points. So if you got 60 points, you're a really good dang. person. <laughs> or you have a lot of good habits at least. Yeah. My total was 48. Not bad. Thank you. You have a lot of good habits. I certainly try. Which is funny because I guess I have the same amount of good habits as you. Hey! <laughs> I have 48 as well. <laughs> How funny that we got the same score. I think that's pretty good. We could be better, but who couldn't? We just try to be as good of people as we can, and I think that's worthy for anybody to try. Yes. Let's all try and be the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Don't try to be the best. <laughs> Race to the top. Yeah. But anyways, like we mentioned before, the link to this test is going to be in the description. So why don't you print that out, give it to your friends, and see how many good habits you have. Comment below. Thank you guys so much Thank for joining you. us again. And we hope to see you guys next week. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh.